Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to section 12.6, Circular and Periodic Functions. Let's get things kicked off with the unit circle. Shown here is a circle centered at the origin whose radius is one unit long. So our radius from here to there is one unit long and that goes all the way around the circle. So the radius is one unit long here, here, there, all the way around. Next we have circular functions is a function defined by using the unit circle. Next, if we have the terminal side of an angle theta in standard position intersects the unit circle at point x, y, then we have some trig functions. We have cosine theta is the x, so whatever this x value is, that is the same as cosine, and then sine theta equals your y, so whatever this y is. So what do these problems look like? We have the terminal side of angle theta in standard position intersects the unit circle at point square root 7 over 4 and 3 fourths. We are asked to find cosine theta and sine theta. Well, from our last slide, we know that cosine theta equals x and sine theta equals y. So all we have to do is say that cosine of theta equals, and what is our x value? Our x value is right here, so it's going to be square root 7 over 4. And then we have our, our sine theta is our y value, so sine theta equals 3 fourths. And that is all you have to do. Finally, we have some more vocab words. We have periodic function. A periodic function is a function with y values that repeat at regular intervals that we will see here in a little bit. A cycle is one complete pattern, and then the period is a horizontal length of one cycle. Now, horizontal, remember, goes east to west, west to east, side to side. So now we are asked to determine the period of each function. Well here, back up to periodic function, is a function with y values that repeat at regular intervals. So we're looking, where does this graph start to repeat? Well we start up here at, let's say this value is just one. We go down, and then we go back up. Are we starting over once we hit this point? If I covered all this over here, would it look like this just repeating? Well, I have a, another section going down and then up, down and then up. It is repeating after this point, after this little dot here. So my period is just 4 because it's whatever x value it is, because it's going horizontal. All right, so we are always using for the period, we are always using the x values. It's the horizontal length, the x value. So here the period is 4. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for section 12.6, Circular and Periodic Functions. Good day!